Hi, and welcome to another Ideal Calibrations, how to calibrate your gas detector video. I'm James Moore, and today we are going to be looking at the Q-Ray 3 by Ray Systems. Let's get it started up here. Press the power button on the left. Okay. <clears throat> when it fires up, you can let that go. And then it's going to go through some of the startup menus here. Uh, it's going to go through showing you the alarms and everything along those lines. So we're just going to let this go through. I'm going to put this off to the side for now. Let's see if we can brighten this up a little bit for you. Don't know that that's much better. All right, we'll just kind of dim that back. Okay, while well, it's going through startup, we also want to make sure we have all the right stuff here. We've got a demand flow regulator. So this is a regulator with no on-off valve that just delivers the gas when it's being pulled by the pump here. We've got our calibration adapter with a bit of tubing. Uh, if you have more tubing than this, it's not a big deal. I just happen to have the short length laying around. And then here we have our calibration gas cylinder. The standard mix for Ray. Uh, for this unit, is going to be 10 parts per million hydrogen sulfide, 50 parts per million carbon monoxide, 50% LEL methane, 18% oxygen, and a nitrogen balance. Also want to check your expiration date, make sure you're in within your date, and we are, so we're all good there. And so while this is going through, let's go ahead and get this set up. So we're going to take our demand flow regulator, and screw it in right here. And so what this does is it fills a little vessel space up in here and then when you hook your pump up to it it just draws off that and it replenishes it at the same rate it draws so that way it doesn't affect your pump at all so it's going to say fresh air zero calibration when we start it up uh, we, we're going to not do that I just want to show you this from, through full so we're going to go quit alright perfect here we are so now we're in our standard mode here and you see it this isn't the cleanest screen ever but this says 0, 0, 0, 0 and 20.9. So what we're going to do is go into cal mode now. We're going to take this here, press these both these buttons. And hold them. And it's going to ask you for a code. The code is simply OK. If you haven't set one up, there's nothing there. So go to OK, press select. It says multi-bump, multi-zero, or multi-span. We're going to start with multi-zero. Go ahead and select that. And then say start. Excuse me. Alright, so this is going to take a 25 seconds here. We're going to let that go down. Go ahead. And then in the meantime, we'll finish getting this together. Take our tubing length. We're going to put it on our regulator. That goes. You don't want to go much further past this first barb here. If you go way past here, it's going to be a real pain if you ever have to get it off. So just go up past the one barb and you're usually good to go. All right, so now, this is showing zeros, good deal. So we're just gonna say it says pass, 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 pass. We're gonna exit. Now it says, do we want a multi-span? So what we're gonna hit is select. We're gonna hit the right button here. And it's gonna say apply gas and start. So we're gonna apply our gas. And get it on there, twist it on, and say start. Okay, so now you can see it's calibrating the unit. And it's just going to take a minute while it does that. It's a real decent little unit. Uh, I like that it has the pump on here, but also the sensors are open for diffusion mode as well. So if your pump ever fails on you, which does happen in the field, uh, you've got the ability to read gas here through these. Menus are pretty easy. Uh, they've got some good functionality on this unit with the sensors. They, they use smart sensors, so the sensors actually store the calibration data on them. Uh, that way you don't have to have that stored on the unit itself. So if you put in a new sensor, it recognizes the new sensor, uh, and it knows, hey, we need a calibration. So, looks like we got a few seconds left here. Good deal. It shows you the readings, which are real close. Perfect. We're going to unhook our gas. Span results pass. Now, if you had anything else on this screen, if it said something like fail or anything along those lines, just throw it in there. Uh, call us. We'll help you take care of it. So hit exit. And now it says, do we want a single bump or single zero? We don't want to do any of that. We just want to go exit. Okay. And right one. There we go. 
Perfect. Now it's heading back to normal reading mode. You can see we've got this checkbox right here, and we've properly gone through the calibration. Okay, if you had, you had any problems or you ran into anything while doing that uh, that didn't go as planned or as we described in the video, you know, feel free to give us a call. The number here is 734-956-0539, or you can shoot us an email to support at idealcalibrations.com. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, if it helped you out, please uh, like, subscribe, uh, do all that good stuff that helps us get viewers. So we appreciate you guys. Uh, have a great day and stay safe out there.